1,400 miles from Brisbane on the Cloncully Goldfield in Western Queensland is Mount Isa. The original township has given way to a modern and thriving city, an attractive town with wide streets and modern facilities. It's a prosperous town and the shops are as modern as any in Australia. Shops in the main streets, shops in arcades like this one. The modern hospital where medical treatment is free is a landmark and a far cry from the shanties city people associate with outback mining towns. And just look at these homes. Power for the mines and smelting works, power for homes and theatres is provided from the station. But Mount Isa is not all industrial. There's a big dam where people go water skiing 600 miles away from the coast. Sporting facilities abound. In addition to aquatic sport like this, the town has a swimming pool, an oval, tennis courts, bowling greens, and a free picture theatre for employees of Mount Isa Mines. Small mines like this have helped make all these things possible. Silver, lead and copper are found in this area, and the fields have been worked continuously for almost 40 years. Most of the inhabitants, of course, depend on the mineral deposits for their livelihood. More than 3,000 work in the mines themselves or on the huge smelting works where the silver, lead, zinc and copper are processed. Millions of pounds have been spent here on a huge industry and the ore deposits are among the richest in the world. But 40 years ago, it didn't exist. That was when John Campbell Miles, a prospector, found an outcrop of silver lead ore. This is his monument, but a more impressive one is the town itself. Mount Isa, a modern, thriving town in outback Queensland.